Okay, here's a tutorial of setting up tabs. Okay, I'm logged into Slayx. I'm going to go to scheduling. And I'm going to do an example for the second week of July. So I'm going to go to June. And actually, third through the 9th of July. Right click, open a new tab. We're going to open multiple tabs. Remember, the more shifts you go for, the more tabs you'll need. If it's four or less, then probably just three or four tabs. But if, since you're limited to four at a time, if it's a big booking like they had in August, you probably want a lot of tabs open. Okay, lots of tabs open. Now I'm going to hit self-schedule on all of these. And the last tab, I will submit. And this is my tab that I save for the second round of shifts that I want to go to. And say it was like the August booking. Say it was after the 9th of July. So on this one, I'll change the date to, say, the end of July. And say I wanted to go for copy breaks at the end of July. I'll set that up. Okay, now on all these tabs, I have set up a server, say for this week, and say I want to go for the reception. Notice what I'm doing here on these, I'm just hitting go, I haven't set them up. And now I'm going to go back to this tab, that I have the server, reception, dinner, and go. And then I'll enter the CAPTCHA for all of these. And usually I'm setting this up 15 minutes prior so you have enough time. But not so soon that you're sitting there twiddling your thumbs for 30 minutes. What good, one good thing about having all these tabs open, if you enter a capture wrong, you have another tab you can go to. Because if you had to wait for it to reload the capture where you can actually read it, you're talking, it's going to take a minute. At least. And if it's a bigger booking, it could be even longer. Last tab. Okay. Now remember what we had this set up for. We had it set up for the reception, a dinner reception for the f 3 through 9 July. So I'll submit this and we'll see that it's what that last tab. That I submitted was 3 to 9 July server function reception and dinner even though as if you recall these first set of tabs were just submitted for this week it didn't say server or dinner what it happens is the last tab you submit before that takes you to the capture screen it changes all the tabs the previous tabs okay so now we just saw that this is now a reception dinner. Now let's go to this one and see what happens. Okay, say I get my reception dinner. There's a reception dinner here. I select it, submit. Okay, I wait 30 seconds to a minute, sometimes even longer, and it, I got it. Even if I didn't get it. Okay, there's no, no, no longer available. So now I want to go for the coffee breaks at the end of the month, Say because they had more of those, so I'm going for those last. Now I'm going to go to the last tab, immediately submit, go to the next tab. Don't wait for that last tab. Go to one with a CAPTCHA and submit. 
And look what happens. Because changing that, submitting that last tab, it changed all the previous tabs that had the capture ready and waiting. So now, if there was coffee breaks, they would all be showing up and then I can go for the coffee breaks. Perfect example is that the August pre-book, they had so many shifts, you had to break it down and prioritize what you wanted. I went for the dinners first, knowing full well dinners go the quickest. Then I went for the breakfast first. Not be They usually go last, but there are so few of them. The lunches, they need hundreds of servers, so I then went for them after that. So you have to have a plan. you got to realize that dinners, especially receptions, go first, then lunches, and then breakfast. But it also is based on the number that they need. In August, they only needed a few for breakfast, so I went for that second after I got the receptions. And I ended up getting 12 shifts doing this method. Some people said they got 17 shifts. I didn't go for four shifts in every time I went. If I would have, I probably would have 16 shifts. And that is how you use tabs.